Hi there, so today I just want to show you how to make a uh, droid turret thing here. What I'll show you is how to make the model for this guy. What I'll do is show you how to make it in a, in a low polygon uh, type model. We're not going to go high res on this guy. I'm going to keep it uh, low poly and yeah, that's pretty much what we'll be doing. Uh, if, you, if you need help finding the picture specifically, I'll also link in the description uh, to where you can find it and just download it or save it or whatever. But anyway, let's get started so we don't waste any time. Okay, so first of all, we are going to switch from animation to polygons. Um, now I want to go to one of my uh, orthographic views. So I'm going to press spacebar. Okay. And now for my front view, I want to get a the image as reference. So I'll click. It says view image plane import image. So once you have imported the image, you can go back here, press spacebar, go back here. I'll press W so I can move my image back just a bit. And I'll probably press R to scale this slightly. And the last thing I'll do is I'll make sure that the channel box is open. If it's not open, just press Ctrl A. And go where it says alpha gain, set that to like 0.6. Even 0.5 will do fine. Okay, there we go. By the way, I'm using my 2014. Uh, I know 2015 has been out for a while now. I just don't have access to it, so I'll be using 2014 for this uh, example. But don't worry, uh, the same tools can be found in my 2015. Okay. The only difference is that my 2015 has at least three different uh, mesh menus, but the options are there, they're just uh, in different menus, but they're called pretty much the same thing, the tools. So the nice thing about this image is that some of the areas we can kind of use as reference, uh, like the legs here, uh, this one specifically kind of looks like a side view, so we can easily use this guy as a side view uh, reference here, and just kind of model it according to the image. Same thing with the body here. It's a cylindrical object, so we can kind of use it uh, for our orthographic view. Other areas we'll, we're going to have to uh, eyeball it, uh, but that should be fine. So the strategy for making this guy, uh, we can go ahead and make the most difficult part first, or make the easiest part first. In this case, I think, uh, let's go ahead and just make the easiest parts first, and then move on to more difficult things. Now the strategy when making things like this and pretty much any other model is that you just want to make sure you make it in different parts, uh, don't make it into one whole thing. Uh, so it's it's nice to just break it up into parts. So let's go ahead and create the body first. For that, since it's a cylindrical object, you can go ahead and create polygon primitives and choose a cylinder. Okay. Going to press 5 so I can see it. Okay, by the way, let's go back to my orthographic view. And what I'll do is I'll move this guy, select the image, just drag over it, and press W and just kind of move this guy to where the center of the origin is here. So we're going to be like half and half. So that we can use this guy more as a reference. Okay, that should be fine. Okay. Go back here. First thing we have to decide how high poly we want to go with this guy. And depending on that, we can change the subdivision for our cylinder. Um, although I would say fairly low, not too high. So I'll click on my, again, the channel box should be open. Click here under inputs. Uh, and our subdivisions, let's set that to 16. I think that's fairly okay for what we're doing. I'm also going to click here just so I can see the geo. You don't have to enable that, but I like to do it anyway. Okay. So let's go back to our orthographic view. I'm going to press Ctrl D so I can duplicate it just because I think I can use the same piece for the top. 
but for now we're gonna ignore that and then just work with this guy okay so the nice thing about creating cylinders is that they come with UVs so you don't really have to do much when it comes to UVs unless you unless you start to extrude pieces which is uh, when I work with cylinders I prefer not to extrude anything that way I can preserve the UVs and I don't have to worry about that okay so I'm going to press R scale that okay cool and scale it this way I'll press W move this guy a little bit now I'm going to hold down right click choose vertex so move your vertices down bit all the way there okay so now I want to add that silhouette so to do that what I'll do instead of doing extrusions or anything I'll just add an edge loop so in this case I'm going to edit mesh insert edge loop tool and I'm going to insert that guy right here okay and now I'm going to press R and scale that just so I can get that silhouette going there and now again depending on how high poly we want to go with this guy we can add more edge loops to define the shape a bit more which I think we can do in this case we'll go back to vertex select the bottom ones and scale these guys a bit okay and I think we can give it another edge loop so let's go back to edit mesh insert edge loop tool and also have it right here press R scale that guy down as you can see since this is like a pers in a perspective view we can see like a few differences in the uh, silhouette from this side and this side I'll just follow this side for now okay there we go and here I think it's a bit rounded so I think we can go ahead and add an edge loop there edit mesh insert edge loop tool right there press R and scale that guy okay and I'm going to insert another edge loop right here okay let's go back insert edge loop tool here press R and scale this guy there we go again I'm following this side Other way to select uh, a match loop just double click it and you should be good to go in 2015 sometimes there's a bit of a glitch if you can't double click a match uh, just press Q that usually fixes it for me at least let's go back to vertex press R scale this guy just a little bit okay cool so now we have the body for this guy can see how easy that was all we did but use a cylinder and added a few edge loops and shaped it that's how easy these things can be okay 